It's one of the most photographed spots in North America. It is a place with beauty and immense power. It is known as Niagara Falls and American Falls, just about a half an hour north of the city of Buffalo. Well, we are just about a half an hour south of the city of Buffalo in Hamburg, New York, another spot for beauty and immense power. Hi, everybody. I'm Doc Riley, and welcome to America's Fair, the Erie County Fair. 167 years they've been having a great event right here outside of Hamburg, New York. Tonight, it's the Unlimited Super Stocks. Now, this class over the years has evolved. For years on this track, they've loved the beautiful plumes of diesel smoke. Tonight, we'll replace that with alcohol power. The Unlimited Super Stock class, highly competitive and a whole lot of horsepower. To bring us up to speed about things going on trackside, here's the third member of our broadcast team, Lisa Tatum. Thanks, Doc. Now, you know, for years, people have been coming out in droves here to America's Fair to see the diesel burning super stock class. Well, tonight, they're going to come and see a new generation, the unlimited super stock, which burn on alcohol. No smoke, but plenty of action. And all year long, we've seen the bullet tractor and all of Robert's big toys come out and put on a heck of a show. Tonight, who knows who's going to take it? I guess we'll find out. Indeed we will. Lisa, thank you very much. Ted Jones here along with Rick Carlson, Mike's side, to bring you all of the action of the Bull Pull, presented by r &L Carriers. We're at the Erie County Fairgrounds in Hamburg, New York, one of the most famous tractor pulls in all of America. Well, the full pull line for these unlimited super stocks is at 310 feet, Rick. That's it. It's over the 300 feet we're used to. Also, not all these tractors are going to be alcohol burning. We have some of the diesel tractors. Some tough locals are going to go ahead and compete with the national competitors. Let's get things started with our test puller, the Desperado. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Sid Broughton. Now, why is he a test puller? Well, he drew the first number, meaning he has to go first to test out the sled and see if it's set up correctly. And we'll find out right now, a lot of dust and dirt. The track looks very dry. Sid and the Desperado not slowing down a bit. He has put together a great pull somewhere in all that dry stuff. I don't know. 317.9 feet over that 310 foot. They're going to reset that sled. Sid will be back later. So our next puller will be Jeff Hurt. We'll find out how much he's been hurt by resetting the sled. There you saw Backing down the hatches, so to speak, pulling on that shoulder harness. A brand new tractor coming out. And again, a dry track. We see dirt, dust being thrown all over the place. It's a good looking pull, but now he goes to the left. I think he had to get on the brakes, and well, it's going to slow him down. It's going to be short. 295.80 feet. Remember, they did reset the sled. They put a little bit more weight in it right now. Let's take another look at it with an RL Carriers instant replay. Here he is, spinning the tires, going to the left. Well, it's not what he wanted. Your thoughts on that pass? Oh, I loved it. It's fourth pass on this tractor. Uh, track like this, a little tricky out there. It's kind of dry, slick deal. Uh, it, it just uh, tickled to death. The tractor ran the way it did. I mean, got to thank Long Machine for the motor. It's, it's an awesome motor. Got to thank Summit Racing, Hamburg for having us, everybody involved. Coming up next will be Hans Boxler. He calls this the special. This is, in fact, a diesel tractor. International Harvester as things turn red. Sid, Hans has run and won this event before. He's a local dairy farmer. We get a little bit of smoke, finally, instead of the alcohol class, and he really is putting together a good run if he can stay in the center of the track. But he has to get on those rear brakes because the front wheels just spin it in the air. When you get on the rear brakes, that causes you to slow down. He'll settle for 276.70 feet, which makes Jeff Hurt our leader currently. Now, here comes a Minneapolis Moline. This is a very unusual track. You don't see a lot of these. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Aaron Hall, and there he is. Aaron Hall, a second-generation alcohol superstock puller. Father Lyle Hall was one of the first to convert to alcohol. He has a lot of the weight up in front. I think he wants that front end to stay on the ground and try and stay on top of that dry track. It looked good. He went to the left a little bit. Now back in the center. Wow, a new leader, 304.75 feet for Aaron Hall. As things are turning yellow, that's what we like. What we've seen in this class, this track's a little bit dry, but is it coming around at all? Oh, it's dry. I put it in high gear, and I tried 
creeping out of the hole, but I don't know. I didn't get a hold of a whole lot, but I made it out the end the way it sounds, so we'll see how it holds up. Yeah, 304. Yeah, well, that's better than what I've been doing, so I'm happy. This Outdoor Channel coverage is being brought to you by Lucas Oil Products, the world leader in heavy-duty and high-performance lubricants. And by Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower. Back at the Erie County Fairgrounds, as you can see, the Erie County Fair in full swing in Hamburg, New York. But we're here to cover the Bull Pull, presented by RL Carriers as things start turning green. Now, our current leader is Aaron Hall at 304 feet, but this guy, Joe Kwiatkowski, the taking care of business John Deere, could very easily take that away. Kwiatkowski, a former champ, is one of the toughest pullers you'll find out here. Now, he has to go to 304 feet to take the lead. I don't think he's going to do it. He started breaking the tires loose. No, indeed he did uh, way short at 284.13 feet. So with that, we'll get ready for our next puller. And as they begin to hook him up, they direct him back right there. They put the main hook on the tractor pulls the sled with, and then a safety hook if the tractor should break away automatically and will shut the tractor down. Tim Howe is our next puller's name. He's out of Wilmington, Ohio. He calls his tractor the Ryan's Toy. He's part of the Larry Roberts pulling team, and Tim is currently second in points coming into this event. They are a tough team. They share all the knowledge, and they watch that track. Let's see what kind of results it'll have for Tim. That front end is dancing a little bit. It looks like a good pull. Not spinning out until the very end. There's the new leader, ladies and gentlemen, a full pull, 315.52 feet. We got to look at that one one more time. Tim Howell right down the center. He's able to steer it. The tire speed is still getting hooked up. It's not spitting all the dirt and gravel like everyone else did. Now the front end is dangling those tires a little bit, but he doesn't have to touch a brake. It's a good-looking pull. This is the way that you want it to go. Boy, a lot of dust and smoke right there at the end of that as this is a very dry track. Now, remember our test puller, the Desperado? Well, earlier today, Lisa Tatum caught up with him. Three different unlimited super stocks, three different colors, three totally different ideas, but all in one trailer. But I'm here to talk to Sid Broughton with his Desperado Case IH to learn a little bit more about what he's got going on. Sid, tell me a little bit more about your tractor, about some of the class rules, limits, things like that. Okay, I run in the 8,000 pound unlimited uh, super stock class. Most uh, vehicles in there run on alcohol. We run a 650 cubic inch uh, maximum uh, limit on this class. My particular tractor is 600 cubes. Uh, we can run up to four turbos, but most all the uh, vehicles in the class run three, two pressure stages, three, three turbos. And uh, we're in Hamburg, New York, and you're from Silver Springs, New York, so what do you do with these jokers from Michigan and Wisconsin? <laughs> well, with the price of fuel this year, we're, you know, the trailer's big enough to haul three tractors, and uh, actually my uh, youngest daughter's living in Michigan now, and that's a little more central for the, uh, the most of the poles on the circuit, so I kind of leave the tractor out there, which she lives about 35 miles from Joe, so it it works out good. We all chip in for fuel, and it, we all get along, so it works out real good for us. Well, and just like in any motorsport, you always want to win the one close to home. Good luck to you, Sid. All right, thank you, Lisa. So we go back to live with Sid Broughton right here, our test puller. Let's see how well he can do with more weight in the sled. And this is his repull after the sled is reset. We saw what he did in the first pull. Now what's going to happen here? It looks a little bit better, but he is all over. My goodness, he blew it up right there at the finish line. Boy, did he ever. And he bails off of that thing, but quick. Remember, alcohol fires a lot of times. You can't see them. There could actually be fire and flames right there that you might not be able to see that well. But the officials are getting in there with the fire extinguishers, and while they do that, let's go back and look at it again with our r &L Carriers replay. It looked like he was just bouncing around the track a little bit, then all of a sudden it exploded, and that is oil that you see burning. It is hot. Sid says, I'm out of here. See how we can get him to bail off that tractor. Well, I don't blame him one little bit. Right now you can see him getting off the tractor. He had to undo the shoulder harness and seat belt, leaped off. Remember, he does have a fire retardant jacket and pants on for safety. Doc Riley. 
Jonathan Mears is in here. What exactly happened? It looks like the uh, valve cover popped. They have overhead cams on these tractors. And as you can see right up in there, it's lifted the valve cover and uh, caused that flash fire, it looks like to me. Then it had fuel and a little bit of oil and it just got hot. This exhaust manifold here is glowing red when they're going down the track and it just ignites real quick. You know, the great thing about it is everybody in, in this class got all that good safety equipment on there. And I guess that's one of the reasons why they wear the fire suits and, uh, and the, the full face helmet. Yeah, you know, he's wearing a double layer fire suit, full uh, helmet, face sock shield and then of course all our officials we've got cold fire extinguishers here on, on site on the track not a big deal for us to put it out in just a few seconds well they handled it indeed in very good style sid broughton as you can see is right back up there none the worse for wear sets back in the road cages there's a good look at smoking joe t lack from fiery sid broughton to smoking joe long time fixture in new york state super stock pulling this local is in his 70s 55 years and Still smoking. Well, still going strong. Now let's see if Smoking Joe can get up there with the big kids. Remember, we're well over 310 feet. Look at that diesel smoke coming out of there. Older tractor, all diesel. Looks good, but goes over the side. Has to get on the brakes, Ted. Well, that's too bad. He really was spinning the wheels from the minute he left the line, but our congratulations. Anybody that's 70 years old can get out and do this. There's Larry Roberts. He's the points leader. We'll have him after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to America's Fair, ladies and gentlemen. The Bull Pull from the Erie County Fair in Hamburg, New York. Ted Jones, Rick Carlson here with you. Doc Rowley's down in the pits, and we're ready to go with our next puller. And that is the current points leader, ladies and gentlemen. This is Larry Roberts. He calls it the big toy, Rick. Out of Wilmington, Ohio, as you said, the points leader. He has three tractors. One of his tractors is Tim Howell, who's in the lead. Now, they've used that information. Let's see how that affects the points leader. Can he get right down the course? He looks like he's having no problems at all, Ted. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going all the way to Manhattan to New York City. Larry Roberts, 321.68 feet. What an impressive lead. Remember, a full pull is only 310. Tim Howe had the lead, his teammate at 315. Larry Roberts used that knowledge wisely. Look at the tractor, it just took off down there. It's bucking a little bit now, but that first half of the course, he was gone. Coming up next, Jordan Lustig. Now this guy was really on a roll. He has a very unusual tractor. He calls it the silver bullet, as you can see him backing him up to the sled. They'll hook him up right there. Currently third in points, but what's so unusual about the silver bullet? Ladies and gentlemen, it has a Caterpillar engine that's been converted from diesel to alcohol. Jordan Lustig, multiple time champion, but now he's had some problems and is trying to get this dial in. There's a look like there's a thing wrong with this one. It dances to the very end, 311.35, another full pull. We've got three of the pull off. Well, no question about it, Jordan Lustig will get into the pull-off as we look at this pull one more time. Again, all of that dust, you can see this track is very, very dry indeed. Notice the front tires down on the ground, so he still has some steering there. Does not have to hit the independent rear wheel brakes. That may be one reason he went over 310 feet. Down at the end, our Doc Riley was waiting for him. Looks like it's pull-off time a little bit. Your thoughts on this track? Uh, track's new for this year. Put in a bunch of new dirt. Uh, it's got a it's got a little bit of a bite to it, but you gotta gotta learn it. We learned a lot from that first pass. Uh, hopefully, we can hook up a little better second time here in a pull-off. It's not like the engine stuttered a little bit. Rev limit or anything in this? Uh, it was from actually the motor not being loaded. I pulled the throttle back, way back, try to get the tires hooked up. Uh, that's pretty much what it was. It was running good the rest of the way down the track. We'll see what we can do in a pull-off. And he is into the pull-off, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Crazy Canuck in a very unusual tractor. This is Patrice Boudre. It's a Steiger tractor. Starts out at 900 cubic inches. They had to really shrink the engine with sleeves and everything else to take it down to the 680 cubic inch maximum. Well, it's toned down. I don't know what it's going to do for the pull. He starts off. He's spinning. He's moving. Unique tractor. Everything so hidden under the hood. Well, it's a Canadian-built tractor, and of course, uh, Patrice is from Canada. 
302.84 feet. Boy, he carried the front wheels. He looked like that he was on the perfect run. Let's look at it again. Look at those front tires suspended in the air. They are just dangling. They come down enough to hit, and well, he did everything right, only it was, well, about eight feet short. Finally coming down, but just short of that 310 foot full pole mark. I love the bodywork on this track. It really swooping a little fire at the end. Now, here comes Jordan Lustig in his second tractor. This new tractor for Lustig, Ride the Lightning. He has had the Silver Bullet for so long, wanted to make some improvement. And how do you improve on the Silver Bullet? More graphics, another gorgeous new machine. Now if it will run anything like the original. Well, we'll find out in just a minute as he kind of nurses it off the line. A little bit of problem there, just porpoising right off the line. Now he seems to get into it, but some tire spin on the back. Looked like he had to use the rear brakes. Yeah, 262 feet. Nothing like the silver bullet for Jordan Lustig in tractor number two. So we'll move on now to John Evans. John Evans, we can see the safety collar going on around his neck because you do bounce around in that, all the safety equipment. Now he is the third track from the Roberts Polling Team. Big Joy right behind Lustig in points, but they would like to make a sweep this time. What can he do? It's a good look and run. Look at it, stay straight to the very end. Covered up in dust on this dry track, he'll settle for 301 feet, which is not good enough to get you the 310 foot pull off. We'll find out about that pull off after the break. Stay tuned. Three in the pull-up, two toys, and the silver bullet. Let's check what can happen here in the 167th running of the America's Fair, presented by RNL Carriers. All right, Doc, thank you very much. Tim Howe, Ryan's toy, will be our first puller. Let's see what he can do. Now, they've changed the gearing on the sled, so the weight will come down quicker on the rear axle. Tim Howe looks like he's going to go off to the right side. I don't know. Now he goes back to the center, all over the track at the top end. Wow, 317.63 feet. I'll tell you what, he did better on this than he did the original pull. Larry Roberts, the big toy, is up next. Remember, he drove this thing over 321 feet in the initial effort. He has just watched Tim Howell's pass. He knows exactly where he wants to be. Their teammates, they share all that information. Let's see how he leaves. Getting into the throttle a little slowly. Now he has the tire spinning, they're not hooked. Finally, everything working, and he is going straight down, not moving the front end, dancing a little bit, not on the brakes. The weight just got to him. New leader, 321.68 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly the amount that he pulled on the original pull. If this guy was in drag racing, he'd be a great ET bracket race. Consistency, consistency, and look at this pull, just right down the center, not touching the brakes until the weight gets over the rear axle and shuts it down. Let's check in with Doc Riley, he talks about that pull with Larry Roberts. Well, Larry, 321, uh, the other tractor that you got is a 317, so you guys are definitely out there a ways. Yeah, but we got a good tractor, left tractor. You never know what's going to happen. Jordan could lay down a good pass and pass me up. You don't have any team marching orders, do you, uh, to block for points or anything? No, uh -uh. we just go with what we can do, we go, go as far as we can. We're all one team, but we, we, we help each other as much as we can and go as far as we can. Good deal. Thanks. Well, helping each other certainly worked out two times. Look at the full moon over America's Fair, the Erie County Fairgrounds, and one puller remains. Jordan Lustig, the famous silver bullet. Let's find out as he's hooking up to the tractor right now if he's got enough to overcome Larry Roberts' incredible 321-foot pull. And here comes the bullet. Jordan, experience coming into play. He starts on the left side of the pulling course, and now he's going right down the center where he wanted to end up, but I don't think it's going to make it, Ted. Way short, 306 feet, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Roberts is your winner. Larry, that's got to make you feel good. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, a lot of good tractors out there tonight, and the track kind of was a little bad at first, but it came together good for us, and uh, we couldn't ask for much more first and I. I don't know if he got Tim or not. He's either first and second or first and third. He couldn't ask for much more. You guys are pretty tight up there around the points, too. Yeah, uh, I think I'm first and Tim's second and Gordon's uh, third, but uh, we're all close. You never know what's going to happen with the next hook. 
anytime you guys get together, it's kind of flip a coin. Anyone can win. That's right. Yeah, you never know when something's going to happen. But uh, good pool, good bunch of people here, great, great crowd out. You couldn't ask for much more. Beautiful night in the summer, and it's got to feel good when you take home a win. Oh, yeah, it's great. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Our congratulations to Larry Roberts as we take a look at the order they finished in the same order they got points in. Larry Roberts' team finished one and two, Rick. That's it, and Jordan Lustig third. We look at points and everything else. The Roberts, Howe team, and John Evans. When we get to the points, take a look at that. They are first, second, and fourth. That's domination. Here's the way they stand, one, two, nine, in the points with more to go. For information on any of the products featured on today's show, check out these websites. Now we have a special award to give away, and believe it or not, it's going to be called the Torco Hot Shot Award. We're going to have to give that to Sid Broughton. Here he comes. You'll see why it's called the Hot Shot. Remember to get this poll. Could be a hot shot. It could be a hot foot, a hot shoe, whatever. It's on fire and sits out of there. Be sure and join us next week here on the Outdoor Channel at the same time.